guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episodes 9 and 10 of Blue Reflection Ray. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 9 and 3, 2, hold on, and 3, 2, 1, go. I may have to turn myself up because I can't hear myself. There we go. Oh, yeah. Momo's going in alone. Yeah. See, that's not really the smartest idea, in my opinion. Is my bra showing? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, really, I don't care, but it was just there. But it still makes me wonder why Nina detransformed last week. Oh, damn. Excuse me. <laughs> no, Nina, you sure about that? I mean, you could just transform for us, but you know, it's up to you. Mama, I don't think this is a good idea, but you know, it's okay. You do what you gotta do. I understand, you know, wanting to get answers. So I'm hoping this whole episode is a big old flashback to answers episode. Let's go back to the beginning and such, please. To let your homegirl understand and try to figure out certain things, maybe. Up until I get, like, an explanation, which, of course, is going to be on, like, between Saturday and Monday. Because, of course, I'm going to get, like, probably two different sides and stuff. But it does make me wonder, um, because I asked about the game last week. Are these characters also in the game as well? Or is it focusing on a completely different group of girls and such? Because... Once again, there's a lot of unanswered questions with this show, even though we're only nine episodes in. And as I've said before, this is very interesting, but very confusing at the same time. When you have a premise that's supposed to be an anime, uh, an anime only, but it's supposed to connect with the game, and it's not, and probably because of the fact that you have not played the game, aka me, um... I'm in the middle. I'm like Switzerland with this show. While when this show was airing, you had people who did play the game and who didn't but want to play the game because of this anime. But who knows? Rewind how, though? No, why would she want to fight, though? I mean, I understand that. You want answers, so let her just talk. Yeah. But give her answers, though, Mio. I mean, that's an interesting question, though. 
Are we sure about that, though? What? But then hold up. If you're a reflector too as well, then why are you doing what you're doing? There, As she said, there is no good or bad in it, but clearly she has to be bad. She was good, now she's bad. Yeah, that, that thing from episode one, right? Now, is the reason why she possibly has no memory of it is because they're not connected anymore? Almost like the situation that's going on with Nina? God, she just looks so empty. Here you are. Oh. Hell, y'all couldn't even been lovers as well. I still wish, instead of showing this as flashbacks, we would have had a whole episode. Mm, but no, we can only show, like, parts of it.
Okay, what exactly happened this day, though? She comes, she says what she's got to say. Know what you're fighting for anymore. And that's it. Whatever happened after that, they... Excuse me. So you're telling me both of you were reincarnated after you died? It's the truth, though. But then who would defeat? Like, okay, hold on. What if it was her sister? And maybe that's the reason why we don't have, she doesn't have memories of it yet. Oh my God, this, <laughs> this leads into so many unanswered questions now. So in a way, now you're trying to prevent that. Okay. But in a way, it is. Hold up. What if the girl who Mia was helping, she was the one. Here comes fucking Nina. Nina, just listen to her. Let her talk. Well, unfortunately to you, Mama's a little busy and tied up at the moment. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, she's at work. Because mm -hmm. she wants answers, just like the rest of us, including myself. There's no need. They're just talking, Nina. Damn. She can't take that. Why do I have a feeling Nina might die by the end of this? <sighs> mm. You gotta feel bad for Nina though. Like, no matter how many episodes we get in, like, Jesus. You can't answer that yet, can you?
It seems like Mio's dream is not only to protect Hiyori, but also Mio. Okay, well, hopefully we get to see that in the next episode, or at least until next week. I got a bad feeling about that. Okay. Alright, so let's say this. Whatever is about to happen in three days. This could be either for the next episode, so 10 or 11 and 12 when I get into that next week. Excuse me. Okay, now that you know... Momo and now myself know the truth of the fact is they died by that thing and then someone came in and because of what that someone did reversed it gave everybody a redo a restart basically and so now in order to prevent what in the world happened that day in three days Mio is trying to do everything in her power in order to stop it. That's the thing. And I get the fact is, like, whatever else was that mistake that day to lead to their deaths? Because there's something us, uh, there's something else Mio found out that we as the audience don't really know. But of course, she knows herself because she's been through it. And so she's been going, I mean, she's had to go through this like multiple times. This can't just be the first time. So it seems like she's been trying every little different like pathway of a butterfly effect. In order to stop this. And so no matter what she's done. She's always failed. And so whatever this like new path or route that she's taking. We don't know if this is going to be a failure or a success. It's a one in a million chance for her. That's the thing. The situation with Nina. And her arm. To me is going to get worse. I feel like it's going to get a lot worse in this next episode. To the point where Nina is going to be. Um, either one of two things. She's going to die. Or she's going to be basically. Um, she's probably going to have to cut her arm off. Because that. It, it's hindering her. To basically to perform at her best. And such. And so it's screwing her up. It's literally fucking with her. And she has no way to stop it. If there was, which it could be, you know, hey, amputating that arm, which I think is going to happen, or it's something else. It could be because of the fact is the connection between Mio and Nina isn't as strong as the connection of Mio to Momo now that we found out the truth. And Momo is now like a thousand times stronger than Nina and such and so Nina can see the bond between or the bond that was there that is now a little bit more better between Momo and Mio I, I'm not really 100% sure um I still want to know who that someone was which I feel like it is Hiori and maybe she's awoken to it because it as of right now like Mio's the only one who knows the truth Momo didn't even know because, of course, her memories are gone. So what if, let's just say a big old if, um, Hiyori has memories that she doesn't remember. Or um, Hiyori's partner, which I can't remember her name. Um, or somebody else. Because in a way with the, because, okay, I'm going to say this, like, 
Momo kind of really answered the question that I had wondered like since the beginning. There is no good or bad reflectors. They're they're two different types and such, but they still have the same goal. They're just doing it in different ways. Yes, it, they're still technically good and bad because what Momo is doing is, is the right thing and then what Mio is doing is the wrong way. But someone else could be looking at this and saying, oh, hey, what Mio is doing is right and what Momo is doing is wrong. There is no right or wrong answer with this as of right now. But in a way that Momo is, not Momo, Mio is going at it, it does seem bad and such because whatever she's trying to do, She's doing everything in her power to prevent this situation from happening again to where the world has to be restart and reset and that they have to repeat everything over and over again. But the flowers, a.k.a. what I think is the soul of a girl, because really there ain't no guys in this show. <laughs> this is like, this, this anime is basically <laughs> like <laughs> women galore. There is no guys like anywhere in it like maybe a couple but not as much um in this show and so with these flowers um from these females these are the only things possibly from what I'm guessing um that can save them from this big ass monster thing that they went against in episode one now it makes me wonder at that moment where Momo and Mio died maybe like possibly Mio saw who it was it like I said it could literally be anybody but my money is on Hiori as of right now we putting that down it's Hiori Hiori doesn't remember certain things but I, I figure when we get towards the end of it she will remember things that she she don't even know that she fucking did but we ain't gonna know but go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 10 Okay, episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> oh, Nina, it's not your fault. I mean, they were going to be bound to find out eventually, right? Hmm? She could be having second thoughts. Maybe. Because, okay, let's say this. So, once again, let's say 11 and 12 is the episodes for the three days from now. So, would 13 to 24 preferably possibly be, like, the new timeline and such? See, I don't know because, see, I can't say that now until we watch those two episodes. And I probably won't watch them until today is Wednesday. So, probably Saturday night because that's my goal. To try to watch them Saturday night, at least probably after Pretty Cure, because of course I don't think I'm gonna have any time next week to record because um next week on Wednesday I have to work. And typically on Wednesdays now for my second week, um I was off, but next week I'll be off on Saturday and I know I'm not gonna be able to record it on Saturday because I'll be gone that day. So literally the only day I can kind of record them is maybe tomorrow when I get home or um, Friday night. And I would have to get it out before I go to work on Saturday. So I really don't know. The 
the first day. Oh, that's what it means. Yeah, the three days later. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it is going to happen with 11 and 12 next week. Hell, it could happen all the time. But see, the question is, like, when y'all die again, Momo, you gonna have a, uh, you gonna remember this? Or is it just gonna be me, y'all? Pretty clock. That's weird, though. Right. Because who knows how many times you've got you've all died. It could have been numerous of times. You know, why is she straight this way? Cause okay, and, and I hate to compare this to this, but with the way it's going, it kinda is going like that. Mio gives you hella vibes to Homade from Madoka Magica. And the fact is that, you know, the more we learned about Homare and her past and everything and the truth, um, the more the show got dark, like hella darker and how tragic it is for these girls. And so it seems like we're kind of getting that with this show as well. That's weird. I have a bad feeling about this. Hmm? I thought I turned my freaking phone on. Freaking.
course not. Yeah. Hold on, wait, wait. We are we really going with this to think that there's another world where there's another version of each of these girls? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Shit, I ain't forgetting that. No, 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 no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nina, I don't think this is a good idea. It's a freaking double edged sword. Museum. Yeah, Nina dying by the end of this. Oh, hey, the second day. Great. I really want her scooter. And you are.
The fact that Ruka is the one that's trying to cheer her up. Sweet. But at the same time, what if she is right? What if we are in a parallel world? I understand that she doesn't want to believe it, but... Can you really fight your sister, though? What if she drops that and... Yeah, that had to be the reason why. Aw, oh, shit. And then, okay, there's something suspicious about the AASA as well. Because why would you wait until the second to last day to answer Momo back? Something about that little fishy to me. Of course. So it's going to be Nina. So of course Nina's going to die. Of course! Why would Nina die? It has to be Nina. Mm. But see, Nina's going to be a failed experiment. Just watch.
And Nina doesn't know this. Mm-hmm. So, Hiori? Oh, sure. But why? Oh, this little bitch. What the fuck? She is toying with her. She's gaslighting her. I can't. I can't. No. Well, you know, hey, maybe in the next timeline you'll be able to be a magical girl, we hope. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> She's not going to make it back, is she? What the fuck is she planning? You would end right there. Shino. <clears throat> I don't like this child. 
The fact that she is manipulating Mio into thinking that she is Hiori is nuts. And we're possibly going into next week with episodes 11 and 12 of Mio actually killing her sister. Possibly. Unless Ruka or um, Momo end up coming in and making the ultimate sacrifice of sacrificing themselves for Hiori. A lot of things could go on in these next two episodes, which is like the quote-unquote mid-season finale before we get into the second half of this show. But something tells me it's not going to end good. I mean... I don't know what else to say. I really don't. Like, she know this child. I'm thinking this is a sweet, innocent child. But no, this little girl is like a total little bitch. I don't like her at all. She need to go. She gotta go. I'm sitting here thinking, oh, okay, Nina gonna be sacrificed. We all okay with this, right? Right? We have no problems. But now that it's gonna be Hiyori, it's messed up. Was that supposed to happen? Was it? Hey, hey, what? H Hello? That didn't happen in the previous ending. Okay. What in the world did he already just read? It, it, of course, it was a letter addressed to her, but was it written by Mio? And if it was. What did it say? <sighs> okay, I'm going to say this. I will say these two episodes were way better than last week's, especially with the fact is we're getting closer and closer to the quote-unquote mid-season finale for this. But it, it's still like, what the heck is going on? One, two, now that we know the truth of the fact is that, you know, they've died because Mio has said it. Emio has lived it just like Homare. Um, no, Homara. Homara. Wrong person, wrong person. There's so many freaking people with that same name. Um, who knows what the, fir what the fuck is going to happen on the third day. But Shino is going to have some importance to it as well. Same thing with Hiori because Hiori is the ultimate sacrifice. Um... I still feel like somebody is going to die or multiple people are going to die before like the world gets reset and we kind of go back episode one start over which will be 13 and we'll be in a different timeline aka a parallel world. So I do really think there's a parallel world thing with this show and something tells me that these two worlds they're gonna collide so we're probably going to see double if not triple versions of these girls going into 11 12 and then eventually 13 to 24 when we do get there i, I mean other than that i really don't know what else could really happen <laughs> of course i have to wait until this weekend preferably either friday night or saturday after i finish pretty cure to see how this first half concludes and how it's possibly going to continue with the second half of this show. I mean, because I got no freaking clue. <laughs> I have absolutely nothing about what the fuck is going to happen and if Mio is going to snap out of her um, mind control that she know has over her and realize that Hiyori is being sacrificed. Maybe. Who knows how this is going to go. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episodes 9 and 10 of Blue Reflection Ray. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all <clears throat> next Saturday for my Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes 11 and 12. Bye, guys.